What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 47th jailbreak update video and there is a lot going on in the jailbreak community right now. So let's not waste any time at all, let's go ahead and dive right into the news. So first of all, just to be very clear, we still do not have a fully functioning stable jailbreak with City and Substrate and everything enabled as of right now because once again, we are still waiting on Sorc to update City and Substrate as well. If you watched my last jailbreak update video, you already know about that. So with that being said, what do we have right now? So first of all, for 64-bit iOS 10. 3.x users you now have two different jailbreaks and just to be clear since some people in the comment sections tend to get confused when i say 10.3.x i mean 10.3 10.3.1 10.3.2 and 10.3.3 anytime i put an x behind the number that means every iteration of the ios version so let's talk about meridian so meridian is a kpp list jailbreak that doesn't include cydia but it does work for all 64-bit devices so you can find a link to this jailbreak in the description below but it isn't very stable at all and you know you're going to have issues with it so i would advise you to stay away from it unless you're a developer or you just know how to ssh and do things with a jailbroken iphone that doesn't involve using city and installing packages and things like that now the interesting thing with meridian is that this is a kpp less jailbreak which is the whole reason that city does not work with it however when sorg does update city to work with a kpp less jailbreak this is going to turn into a full jailbreak then we have goblin which is another incomplete jailbreak that actually does include city and substrate due to it utilizing these same kpp bypass that Luca Tedesco used for his Yalu jailbreak. Now, unfortunately, this only works on A7 through A9 devices, meaning it's only going to work on devices with the A7, A8, or A9 chip. And, you know, you can Google which chip your iPhone has if you don't know. But basically, it doesn't work on the iPhone 7 and above since the iPhone 7 does use the A10 chip. Now, the good thing about this Goblin jailbreak is that there's quite a few tweaks that actually work fine with this jailbreak. And I'm going to leave a link down in the description below for a tweak compatibility sheet that shows you which tweaks will work with this jailbreak on 10.3.x and which ones will not. Now, should you jailbreak with Goblin? And I'd say, sure, why not? I mean, you have Cydia, you have a working substrate. Why not go in there and, you know, install some tweaks and everything? But I would make sure to look at that compatibility sheet before you install anything, just so you know which tweaks are working and which ones are not. Once again, it's not a complete jailbreak, but if you cannot wait any longer, Goblin should be fine. You should be fine jailbreaking with Goblin because once again, substrate is enabled as well as Cydia, so you can install certain packages. Now let's talk about iOS 11. So iOS 11 users, we have the Libra iOS jailbreak, which I made a whole video on last week. Now, this could end up being the main jailbreak for iOS 11, but Sorek himself is also supposedly working on something pretty great right now as well for iOS 11. So, of course, we're going to have to kind of wait and see what happens with that. Of course, I will make a jailbreak update video when something does happen there. Now, some people ask me about removing the Libra iOS jailbreak, and you can remove it. You know, I don't really know why you would want to remove it at this point, but if you want to, if you want to remove Cydia as well as Libra iOS on every trace of it, I will have a link down in the description below where it shows you how to do that. But once again, if you have it installed now, you're fine. You don't need to worry about removing it. I don't really know why so many people are wanting to remove it, but you do not need to. Once the Cydia update comes and once the Substrate update comes, I will show you guys what you need to do if you install Libra iOS, you know, last week or, or you know, whenever it came out. So don't worry about that. You know, if it's on your device now, just leave it be. Don't worry about it. And speaking of Sorek, yes, we are still waiting on Sorek to update Cydia and Substrate. Now, obviously, this is not an easy task and he doesn't have his full focus on updating this right now because it's not his full time gig, but it's going to definitely be worth it when he does finally update both Cydia and Substrate for iOS 11. Now, obviously, there are a lot of developers and security researchers out there trying to make a name for themselves, trying to, you know, develop jailbreaks and, you know, create things for the jailbreak for iOS 11. But the two most notable names that come to mind when talking about developing jailbreaks and things for iOS 11 are Coolstar and Morpheus. And I've already talked to you guys a lot about Morpheus, but Coolstar actually tweeted out something interesting the other day. He said this, got injection into launch daemon working on iOS 11. I can now track process launches and inject entitlements, code signing flags into them. Just waiting on a reply from Sorek and we should be able to get Substrate working. And this just means that we can now inject code into launch daemon and automatically inject code into other processes. And this is massive. And this means that now we're super close to Substrate being fully compatible for iOS 11. And in this tweet, Coolstar also mentioned that he's waiting on a reply from Sorek and Sorek actually did reply that day. Now I'm not gonna read this huge wall of text you see on your screen right now, but I think everyone should read it since it is so interesting. It's confusing, but very interesting. Interesting. Sork is basically saying that he's been working with a known developer who is a mystery man right now and has a perfect solution without jailbreaked. So essentially Sork is saying that he has better workarounds and solutions than Coolstar or Morpheus have come up with so far. So all in all, this is pretty good news because Sork said that
that he is pretty much finishing up right now. So we just have to be patient for a little bit longer and it's all going to be worth it. Now going back to Coolstar, he's continuing to update his async wake fork with new features. And just yesterday he added the ability to inject code, which can be used to load tweaks into Springboard or other processes. Now obviously this should only be used by people who really know what they're doing, but it's pretty cool to see Anemone working on iOS 11, as you can see right here on the screen. Now in related news, Abraham Masri, who was the developer of the Saigon and the Houdini jailbreaks, has moved on from the public jailbreak scene. He made all his work open source and won't be working on anything public anymore. Now this seems to be a pretty common trend. You know, we saw this with Luca Tedesco. You know, we've seen this with a lot of other community members as well. They maybe just haven't spoken out about it, made it public or anything like that. But the Win ETA kids and everybody just, you know, harassing people on Twitter, it's pretty apparent why Mastery did leave the scene. And it looks like it's even catching up with Sork as well. So all in all, there are two new jailbreaks for iOS 10.3.x. And then we still have the same situation with Libra iOS and the iOS 11 jailbreak right now. Once again, we are just still waiting on Sork to update Substrate and Cydia, and then we will be golden. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. A lot of amazing stuff going on in the jailbreak community right now. I remember a couple months ago, everybody was saying the jailbreak scene was dead, you know, jailbreaking is dead. And look where we're at now, you know, multiple jailbreaks, at least three jailbreaks right now. Pretty impressive stuff. Pretty awesome stuff going on in the community right now. You guys should all be excited. But anyways, if you guys have any questions at all, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. You guys know I love responding to your comments down there, as well as following me on Twitter. You can ask me questions over on Twitter or Instagram as well. Those links are all down in the description below. Also, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future jailbreak update videos. But thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.